most of us have heard that the secrets to great riches and wealth are Opt other people's time OPM other people's money Fran Tarkenton, a one-time great NFL quarterback, says it's still another way, winning means being unafraid to lose. A friend wanted me to show her how to buy apartment houses. So one Saturday she, her agent, and I went and looked at six apartment houses. Four were dogs, but two were good. I said to write offers on all six, offering half of what the owners asked for. She and the agent nearly had heart attacks. They thought it was rude, and would offend the sellers, but I really don't think the agent wanted to work that hard. So they did nothing and went on looking for a better deal. No offers were ever made and that person is still looking for the right deal at the right price. Well, you don't know what the right price is until you have a second party who wants to deal. Most sellers ask too much. It is rare that a seller asks a price that is less than something is worth. Most teachers lack real-world experience they have not done what they teach. They haven't actually experienced what they teach, made mistakes, learned from those mistakes, and applied what they've learned as they continue to practice and get better and better. Schools teach us to read and memorize. I believe that studying is the key to applying what we learn. Kim and I meet with our advisors several times a year and we choose books to read and study together. It's not how much money you make, but how much money you keep, how hard it works for you, and how many generations you keep it for. Wealth, their education. If people are prepared to be flexible, keep an open mind and learn, they will grow richer and richer despite tough changes. If they think money will solve problems, they will have a rough ride. Intelligence solves problems and produces money. Money without financial intelligence is money soon gone. A genius is someone who excels at something. But a genius isn't necessarily good at everything. In fact, a genius usually has a special ability in one area while being pretty average in others. I noticed that people really do shape their lives through their thoughts. Start minding your own business. Keep your daytime job, but start buying real assets, not liabilities. I will move my money in for a week to a month while the stock moves up. Then I pull my initial dollar amount out, and stop worrying about the fluctuations of the market because my initial money is back and ready to work on another asset. So my money goes in, and then it comes out, and I own an asset that was technically free. Keep using your brain, work for free, and soon your mind will show you ways of making money far beyond what I could ever pay you. You will see things. Rich people acquire assets. The poor and middle class acquire liabilities. Life pushes all of us around. Some people give up and others fight. A few learn the lesson and move on. They welcome life pushing them around. To these few people it means they need and want to learn something. Like to quote John D. Rockefeller, who said, I always tried to turn every disaster into an opportunity. He could not understand my decision to resign from a career that offered high pay, great benefits, lots of time off, and opportunity for promotion. When he asked me one evening, why did you quit? 
I could not explain it to him, though I tried hard to. My logic did not fit his logic. Knew that every individual also had a part of their soul that was resilient and could never be bought. Rule number one, you must know the difference between an asset and a liability, and buy assets. To be successful as a B requires, one ownership or control of systems, and two the ability to lead people. Financial aptitude, what you do with the money once you make it, how to keep people from taking it from you, how to keep it longer, and how to make that money work hard for you. The rich focus on their asset columns while everyone else focuses on their income statements. How fast do I get my money back? If you're ignorant, it's easy to be bullied. Never forget that fear and desire can lead you into life's biggest trap if you're not aware of them controlling your thinking. To spend your life living in fear, never exploring your dreams, is cruel.